More than a billion holiday cards have been delivered so far this season, or soon will be. Among them, you might very well find the witty, whimsical creations of artist Sandra Boynton. But Tracy Smith tells us Boynton's found another way to spread Christmas cheer. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. It's the Christmas song time. might not be a Christmas classic yet, but you might know the characters, those simple, line-drawn animals with facial expressions that say it all. And that's why I'm so happy I'm seeing snow, snow, snow. The animals, the lyrics, and the music are all from Sandra Boynton, artist, author, record producer, and at age 70, maybe the mother of all greeting exists. card creators. <laughs> How long have you been out here? Ah, uh, 44 years. But when we saw her at her rural Connecticut home this past July, she told us her new project was a bit off her usual path a Christmas album, Cows and Holly. For her, it's just another stop on a long and quirky road. Sandra Boynton was still a student at Yale when she began making and selling greeting cards one summer as an alternative to waiting tables. And in 1975, she came up with this one, the now famous birthday card, Hippo Birdie to Use. It was a game changer. How successful were the cards? Exceedingly. They were exceedingly successful, way beyond, I think, what anyone imagined. And it pretty quickly got to the point where, like, I, in an airport, you know, I could give my identification and somebody would say, are you related to the guy who does the cards? Or is it your dad who does the cards because... They assumed it was a man. Because I only used my last name. So it said Boynton. And I think it was just an assumption that a cartoonist um, is a man. Occasionally I would say, I am the guy who does the cards. <laughs> she also broke new ground by asking for a percentage of each card sold. And they agreed to it. They agreed to it. They agreed to it. So you were the first person, basically, in the greeting card business. I was. To and get I, a royalty. And I think for a long time, I think I was the only. And it was only a matter of time before she graduated from greeting cards to children's books. Her first, the immortal classic, Hippos Go Berserk, was a runaway bestseller. Do you have any idea how many copies it sold? Oh my goodness, you'll have to ask them. I'm not, I'm not good at the statistics. A gajillion, I think, is the correct. <laughs> a gajillion, it, it we'll go sold. with that. She quickly established herself as a best-selling author and now has her own imprint. Boynton Books. But after her youngest child went off to school in the mid-90s, Boynton started to focus on another of her passions in life, music. So finally there's a little time to just go, I want to do music and I want to do children's music because it's in general terrible. And children's music is terrible. Yes. People don't like it when I say this. It was back then. Um, it's condescending. It's it's done by people who have an idea of what children's music should be. My idea of what children's music should be is music. Yes, I woke up this morning and I couldn't find my shoe. So in her usual, unusual way, she started writing children's songs and she got some pretty famous people to record them, like the late great B.B. King on her One Shoe Blues. Not the one shoe, one shoe. For another song, she asked a neighborhood friend, Meryl Streep. Nobody understands me. That's her singing, Nobody Understands Me. And now, in a little studio not far from her house, a new Christmas album is taking shape. When did you guys start working on this? Some a year ago spring, was that right? With producer Mike yeah. Ford, Boynton wrote more than a dozen songs and, as always, found some pretty well-known people to record them. For instance, she thought Yo-Yo Ma would be perfect for a cello part, and he was. Everybody else. And so was country great Lyle Lovett. I, I, I'm going home now. I'm going home now. Do you ever, when Sandy says, I think this person would be a good person for this track, <laughs> say, you're out of your mind, we're not gonna get that person? <laughs> I'm usually amazed that she can really uh, just pinpoint the perfect person to get. So that's, that's really a, a, an impressive thing. You can have all the toys, I don't need them because 
talk about impressive, Zoe Deschanel said yes. I just got to dance with Santa Claus. And for a minute, Are you ready? Yep. Patti okay, Lapone turned the little recording studio into a Broadway stage. What's that sound all around? Hear them play far away. Coming closer by the mile. Guaranteed to make you smile. Or the album won't be out until next September, but there's no doubt that the woman who started out on greeting cards will continue to push the envelope. There is snow. 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 It's coming down. If you could reflect on this ride of yours, this 70-year ride of yours, what would you say? It just feels, I, I just feel so fortunate. I just feel so um, that I found my, my place. My dad would have said that I would have been happy wherever I landed. Um, and I hope that's true. Yes, Christmas time. But I'm glad I landed where I have. And that's why I'm so happy to be with you. you.